Here's just a quick video for you guys. I failed. Failed attempt. I tried to make that DIY PVC overflow. I spent all day looking that up, getting the parts and everything. And I failed. I'm going to work on it some more in the morning. But it is 1.04 in the morning. And I just finally got it started up and cleaned everything up. And it works just fine. It's just the siphon will not restart. So I have to play with it in the morning and figure out why, but I'm not messing with it now. It's just fine, though. I mean, other than the siphon not restarting, it's not an overflow. It's a siphon. It's a, a siphon, basically. Once the siphon breaks, it doesn't restart unless you prime it again. And this is supposed to be where you don't have to reprime it. And I did it just like I've seen. This is the first attempt. I haven't messed with it or anything since I turned it on. I unplugged it and didn't restart the siphon. Um, so I did something wrong or uh, the air leak is somewhere, but I don't know. Um, and it sucks. But whatever, it's good enough for now. The power has never gone out here anyways, and if it does, we have a generator. So, And I'm almost always uh, at home unless I'm on vacation, which is very seldom. Because I prefer personally myself to not like traveling because I do not like other people taking care of my fish. Um, yep, I just have this right in here for now. It just overflows into it. I, I forgot. I got, I got the wrong elbows. I, I, I had these a T valve and a uh, 90 degree elbow left over. So I put that on here because this is supposed to be half inch for the return and it's a one inch for the overflow. Um, for some reason, I got one inch too, so I have to go back. I already got the barbed adapter and everything where the hose attaches to the PVC, but I just don't have the little <laughs> elbows to uh, direct it into the tank or to hang it on the tank. So I just have my hose jammed inside of there, just like fitted into it. Here you can kind of see. See, the hose just goes up into it, and it basically just bends like in a, basically a U, and just holds it in place then, so that way it won't fall out. But, yeah, it's, just, it's okay for now until the morning when I go get the right stuff. And it's too late, though, to go get the other stuff. And, I mean, yeah, it's draining and everything. It's doing just fine. Um, it's just when the siphon breaks, it uh, doesn't restart, and I don't know why. Um, because I did it exact how everybody I've seen else have done it. Uh, then down here, it's, uh, it's just the water pump I had. This is the power head actually that I had. And it just does 295 gallons per hour at zero head height. The head height is that it's probably doing about uh, maybe 200 gallons, I guess, maybe. Um, but yeah, just go through the trickle tower, have three drawers, a filter floss. Um, those just have open bottoms where it just falls through. And then this one has drilled holes, drilled holes, and then open bottom again, and so that way it, uh, there's a, even just a spread of water over the biological media, biological, it's like some scrubby pot scrubbies, but the, the plastic ones, do not get like the aluminum or the copper, get the plastic ones, um, but yeah, it's just some old tank dividers I had left over, um, so I used that. But I mean, other than the not restarting, it's just fine. I mean, you can see it's, the water's coming out of there and everything. And uh, let's see here if I can do this without getting water everywhere. Okay, here we go. You can see yeah. here. There you go. I mean, you can see it's just fine. So, yep. I'm going to put that back in. Push this back in. Push that back all the way down. And yeah, so I mean, it's just fine. And yeah, thanks for watching. It's just I have to fiddle with it to get the overflow to restart when it turns off. And yeah, see you next video. Adios.